side. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us tonight. It was a case of who you know in Temple Terrace and taxpayers covered the cost. And now a city official is in trouble for taking a bribe in exchange for helping an unlicensed contractor get work. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau broke this story last year. He's back tonight with his follow-up. Walt. You know, as we told you, this would have no one would have known about this if not for a tip sent to City Hall. It was a no-bid contract due to the relatively small price, but it has now had a big impact on at least one city employee. The investigation focused on a contract for a project at the Temple Terrace Rec Center that Eight on Your Side first told you about last summer. Now we know Community Development Director Amir Anisi was arrested Monday morning at City Hall on bribery and falsifying records charges for allegedly giving the job to an unlicensed contractor in exchange for a discount on a project at Anisi's home. The 54-year-old Tampa resident is accused of illegally sharing inside information, according to the FDLE. Anisi informed the vendor, a friend of his, the estimated price range the city was considering for the concrete work. With this information, his friend submitted his bid under that estimate, ensuring that his company would win the bid. The cost of the contract was lower than the threshold that requires city council approval, but Temple Terrace Mayor Andy Ross tells us the alleged crime could prompt changes. Administratively, there are things that we will review to make sure that we do have proper policies and procedures in place to prevent uh, this type of thing from happening again. I, I really didn't want to blindside anybody. The allegations first revealed at this August meeting where City Council member Meredith Abel read an anonymous letter that alleged an unlicensed contractor was hired to build pickleball courts at the city's recreation center. Yeah. Nobody's drawn any conclusions on this. City manager Charles Stevenson walked out at one point after he was implicated by the writer of the letter, but Stevenson later fired his own accusation at the council, alleging they broke city policy by reading an anonymous letter at a public meeting. According to the information provided to council, a licensed company was listed as the contractor for the $17,000 project, but 383 Construction LLC was the company that was paid. The owner of 383, which was not licensed at the time of construction, according to state records, has not responded to multiple requests for comment. Investigators tell us the case remains open, so we asked whether Stevenson has been cleared. General Stevenson is not a, per se, target of our probe at, at, at this case. Anisi was released on $9,500 bail this afternoon, but has not responded to our request for comment, Keith. So we're really talking about two felonies here, both right. involving betrayal of the public trust. Right. What are the chances this could result in some jail time? Not good, according to State Attorney Andrew Warren. He said Anisi tainted the fairness of the process, but state guidelines would probably not include a prison recommendation, recommendation if there's a conviction. We'll keep you posted on So that. even if a conviction? Probably, probably not. not going to All jail. Right. Thank you, Walt. Okay. And if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline, the tip line number 1-800-338-0808.